Hey guys, in this video, we're going to be talking about the number one mistake that most junior developers are making right now. Now, if you don't want to make this mistake, you definitely want to watch this video so you can actually learn from it. Trust me, a lot of gems in here. Okay, guys, so let's get started. I'm going to go in and show you guys this comment from uh, Marcin. He just sent this like three hours ago. I'm trying to get a job as a programmer, but without experience, it's apparently tough. Do you think that getting any job like EJ, you know, for example, uh, warehouse will be better than nothing? I was actually working in a warehouse before and quit to have more time for programming. So if I have this job again, I could barely develop any programming skills. And basically, he's like, yo, I've been trying everything. I'm, you know, applying to jobs. I'm not getting a job because I don't have experience. And guess what? Now I'm going to have to go back to the workforce at the old type of job that I used to have, warehouse work, right? So he's upset. He's like, damn, this sucks because I know this thing is going to take most of my day and I'm not going to be able to learn as much as I I should, right? And I'm going to be honest with you. And it's usually because most people try to go about this from this angle. They try to come in, learn front-end development or sometimes even learning full-stack development. And to be honest with you, is a lot of skills that you're going to need to become a front-end developer now in 2023. You know, maybe 10 years ago, it was easy. Just no HTML, CSS, JavaScript, basics, right? And some jQuery, you could have gotten higher. But in 2023, you're going to need a lot, okay, to become a front-end developer. And not only that, that everybody's learning the same skills and going for the same position. So now the ones that have experience get a little leg above everybody else because everybody knows the same thing. Everybody has the same thing. Hey, I'm a React developer, Merge stack, Prisma, you know, whatever random hype stack that's happening in JavaScript. That's what everybody's learning. So guess what? If you're going into the market with that and with no experience, nothing really is going to work out for you. Okay. So again, this is something that, that happens, right? As you can see, just literally three hours ago, I get hundreds, if not thousands of comments like this, you know, throughout the whole year. And there's a reason for it. Okay. Now, what I recommend for people to do, okay, is to actually figure out what type of positions you can actually get right now with this type of skills that are here. Okay. And I'll give you an example, content editor, HTML email developer, web producer, webmaster, right? Uh, email marketing specialist, right? There's a whole bunch of different job positions that's out there that will give you an opportunity to get started. This is why we specialize here on this channel and is finding ways that we can help people get into jobs, right? And get into the industry so you can build experience. Yes, they're not the most glamorous uh, titles. Yes, it's not going to be, hey, I work at Google and, and everybody is, you know, <laughs> basically, <laughs> that you know, uh, all, all on your back. Like, oh, my God, he's a Google developer. No, nah, you're not going to get that on your first job. What you want to accomplish is to get in and start making anywhere between 60 to $85,000 starting point. And then from there, once you're in, you build experience and then you continue to learn the skills, right? So it doesn't happen like this guy where right now he was going for this whole route and trying to learn all of those things. But now, guess what? He has to get a job. He start, uh, you need to start making some money, right? So he's going to have to go back to square one, go back to his old job and then try to figure out to get this thing, right? Now, if you would have came in and started doing some of the alternative ways that we do here at codingface.com, again, like HTML email developer, content editor, Shopify theme developer, he would have been in already, okay? Now, again, you don't have to believe me. We could go in and talk about a situation like this. Shout out to the homie, uh, you know, Malik, right? Darren Malik, right? This is a, a video from last night. And the accountability. Yo, what's good, man? I want to talk to the same. Hey, what's going on? It's fine, hey, man. man. I know you yeah, probably yeah. <laughs> you're probably busy, right? Yeah, man. The last three weeks I had to uh, had to work, work on the Mondays, and uh, yeah. I wanted to know, man. We got a job, man. Yeah. We didn't get it again, yeah. John. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> man. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. So, uh, oh, is it echoing here? No, no, no you good. You good? We good? Okay, yeah. that's bad. 
But yeah, man. So just, I just want to say thank you. You know what I'm saying? For all you do, follow your dreams, helping us follow ours, man. Because uh, it's definitely powerful, man. What you do. So I definitely appreciate it. All right. So I don't know if you guys heard that, right? And um, shout out to Darren Malik. Like he just got hired. Uh, recently and I believe he came in around like January, February. I mean, now we're in April. So we're talking about like a, a time frame, like two, three months, right? So it's not like he's been here, you know, a whole year, right? Seven months, eight months. Like the dude just recently came in, right? But follow the alternative ways to get into the industry. And then from there, now he can continue to learn all of the other skills that you need to become a front-end developer. So when he goes into his next role and applies, he's going to go in with six months of experience, one year of experience doing web development. Some of you guys think that web development is just front-end development, back-end development, full stack. But the truth is that those are part of the tree of development, right? There's a lot of different branches that you can go off to get your foot in the door, okay? So you have to take advantage of what's there right now and the opportunities that's right in front of you. You get what I'm saying? So again, don't make that mistake of trying to learn everything on your own, right? Trying to become a, a you know one of those guys that have a, a Udemy PhD, right? Like you've taken 30,000 courses online, never finished any of them, right? You got a million YouTube tutorials. You're following whatever's trending on, on Twitter. You're following whatever's trending on YouTube, whatever's trending on TikTok. Like, bro, focus on getting your first job, okay? Believe it or not, yes, that $50,000, $70,000 job is going to help you get the hundred thousand dollar job so then later on right you could go in and continue to grow from there it's so much better to be working in the industry even though you're not making you know a hundred two hundred thousand dollars then you having to go back and say damn i gotta get back into a regular job or a job that i don't like so i can maintain myself so again use this to actually get into the industry, build experience, so then now you could get into those dream positions that you guys want, okay? Now, um, again, guys, if you guys don't know, codingface.com is the platform you want to go, okay? So, again, take advantage of what we have here, and don't make this mistake. Again, you know, you can become a front-end developer, but let's do it in a strategic way. So when you go and apply as a front-end developer, guess what? It's going to take you nine months to learn all of those skills. It's going to take you six to 12 months to learn all of those skills. Guess what? Take that time while you're still learning those extra React courses and React, you know, whatever Angular or whatever framework it might be, view, right? While you're still learning those things, guess what? You could get a job with HTML, CSS. You could get a job with basic JavaScript, okay? So come back in with experience. Now, again, for those of you guys that don't know, we're about to hit 100,000 subscribers. So if you like this video, make sure you like it and subscribe to the channel. And what's really cool is that right now we're giving $100 to one of you guys every single time that you come in and leave a like, a comment, and you're subscribed to the channel. Also, too, there's a link in the description where you have to register so I could know what's your email and I could know um, how to contact you if you're the winner. Uh, link is in the description and also to 20% off on codingphase.com is on the description. Take advantage now. Okay. Now let's announce who's the winner of the hundred dollars from the last video that we just did. Yesterday we did a live stream. Guess what? One of you guys commented on it and we're going to go and give it to the homie Angel Medina. Okay. We're going to give it today to Angel Medina, uh, that hundred dollars and today. On this video, we're going to figure out one of you guys is going to win another $100. So again, till we get to 100,000 subscribers, we're going to be giving $100 on every single video. Okay, we're at 95,600 uh, subscribers. So we have time. Okay, we have time. We're probably going to hit 100,000 subscribers by the end of the month or maybe next month. So subscribe to the channel, like the comment, like the video, comment on it, and leave a comment here 
um, whatever. Tell me what you think about this video. Do you agree with what I said? Do you disagree with it? Okay. And that way it also puts you in, in the mix to win a hundred dollars. Okay. No matter where you at in the world, this is your chance. A hundred dollars is not much, but it can also help you out, put some money in your pocket. And that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to, you know, get your hands wet so you can start making some money out of this thing. If you're investing time into this channel, you're investing time into learning how to code, let's put your first $100 in your hands, okay? So let's do it, guys. This is your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. See you guys later. Peace.